You may think that the bumpy roads in your town that are plagued by potholes or the drivers that don't seem to know the rules of the road making driving dangerous, but that is barely the tip of the iceberg when it comes to risky places to drive. Imagine driving up the side of a mountain with no railing on an unpaved road that's barely wide enough for two cars. It probably makes you uneasy just thinking about it. In places like China, Italy, Chile, and even Alaska, this is a reality. These places and a few others are home to some of the most dangerous roads in the world. Interested in seeing some of the most dangerous roads you don't want to drive on? Well, buckle up and keep watching. These 10 most dangerous roads are something you don't want to miss. Interact with us. Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks! The Karakoram Highway The Karakoram Highway, also known as N35 or National Highway 35, is a highway which runs along the border of Pakistan and China. It is over 800 miles long and regularly faces a terrifying combination of natural disasters including avalanches, flooding, and heavy snow. The Karakoram Highway is especially known for having high risk of landslides. It is sometimes called the 8th wonder of the world and it is a popular tourist attraction due to it being one of the highest paved roads in the world with a maximum elevation of 15,466 feet. Despite the frequent deaths that have occurred there ever since its construction in 1959, approximately 1,000 workers were killed during the construction of the highway due to blasts of wind or landslides. In October of 2019, 17 people on a bus were killed after the driver took a sharp turn along the highway and caused the bus to fall into a gorge. A month earlier, a tourist was killed in a landslide that hit her van. North Youngest Road this road in Bolivia is named North Youngest Road, but it is frequently referred to as the Death Road and has been given the title of the world's most dangerous road multiple times. Rightfully so, as the 12-foot wide road that is carved into the Cordillera Oriental Mountain is the site of an estimated 200 to 300 deaths each year. The road goes from the Bolivian capital of La Paz, which is the world's highest capital at 11,975 feet in altitude, to the lower region of Youngest in the Amazonian rainforest. The North Youngest Road contains one of the longest stretches of continuously downhill road in the world. The road attracts a lot of cyclists as tourists, but many sections of the thin road are unpaved and do not have guardrails, adding to the danger that both drivers and cyclists face as a small accident or wrong turn could send them plummeting anywhere from 4,000 to 15,000 feet to their death. The Atlantic Road the Atlantic Road in Norway, also called Atlanter Hasvian, or the road in the ocean, is only about five miles long, but winds a scenic route through a group of small islands. It has been a popular site for the filming of automotive commercials, has been declared the world's best road trip, and has been awarded the title of Norwegian Construction of the Century. For many years, the Atlantic Road has been a very important piece of infrastructure in Norway, especially as a means of transport for the fishing industry, but also as a point of tourism. The road contains many attractions such as viewpoints, roadside hiking trails, fishing spots, and seven bridges that allow the road to span across several islands in a snake-like pattern. However, one stretch of the highway is particularly dangerous. When a storm blows through this curvy portion of the road, it is prone to flooding and strong winds creating a hazardous area for drivers. The road suffered at least a dozen windstorms during its construction in the 1980s. Dalton Highway James W. Dalton Highway was built as a supply road to support the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System in 1974. Much of this road is unpaved and made of gravel, making it difficult for drivers to traverse even in good weather conditions. During the winter, Dalton Highway becomes covered in ice and can get so slippery that even seasoned ice road truckers will refuse to cross it. The road has some steep slopes and other unique features. Truckers that frequent the highway have given nicknames such as the Taps, the Shelf, the Bluffs, Oil Spill Hill, Beaver Slide, Two and a Half Mile, Oh Shit Corner, and the Roller Coaster. The snowy tundra that surrounds the road is also known to have frequent avalanches, and in the warmer months, the road can be prone to flooding. 
People that drive on the Dalton Highway are advised to make sure they bring proper gear including medical supplies and implements for survival and safety in case they get stranded because there are no medical facilities along the 414 mile road and no gas station, restaurants, or hotels for a 240 mile stretch. It was even featured on the first episode of the BBC show, World's Most Dangerous Roads. Zojila Pass Zojila Pass is a mountain pass within the Himalaya Mountains in India. The pass connects the western end of the Kashmir Valley to the Dras and Suru Valleys at the northeast of the pass and the Indus Valley further east of the pass. Zojila stands at over 11,500 feet in altitude. The narrow dirt path lacks protective barriers, so its sides are flanked by jagged gray stone instead, making it a dangerous road to traverse even under normal weather conditions. However, vehicles often stop traveling across the pass in the winter due to heavy snowfall that forms thick walls of ice along either side of the road. In November 2019, about 350 people were stranded on the pass when heavy snowfall hit and had to be rescued by the Indian Army. Luckily, there are plans to build an all-weather tunnel at Zojila to fix this inconvenience. The Zojila Pass is also vulnerable to avalanches and landslides. Guliang Tunnel this tunnel looks like something out of a movie. Guliang Tunnel in China is carved into the nearly vertical side of a mountain with some portions of the road that have a natural rock tunnel and some stretches that have the stone wall on one side and a sheer drop on the other side of the road. Originally used just for pedestrians, the tunnel still has no railings or streetlights, so drivers should travel at their own risk. Locals refer to Guliang Tunnel as the road that does not tolerate mistakes. The tunnel travels from the secluded village of Guliang through the Taihang Mountains to the outside. Before this tunnel was built in the 1970s, it was very difficult to reach Guliang but has not become a tourist attraction. The tunnel was carved into the mountain with hammers and chisels rather than more modern tools by just 13 villagers with one dying during its construction. With such complications, it took five years to create this tunnel that is only three quarters of a mile long. Kabul Jalalabad Road this road in Afghanistan, also known as National Highway 8, is a road that goes between the Afghan capital city of Kabul and Jalalabad, the largest city in eastern Afghanistan and capital of the Nangahar province. This 40-mile stretch of road has so many deaths that local residents have stopped keeping count. A section of the road runs through Tange Garu Gorge, which is where most of the deaths occur while zooming around one of the sharp turns that offer beautiful views of the crevasses and buttes below. Some parts of the winding two-lane road are no more than a few hundred yards wide and the road is framed by vertical rock cliffs that rise more than 2,000 feet above the Kabul River below. The road is also known for being the site of many Taliban-led suicide bombings and kidnappings. Local drivers have had to come to accept that as they risk their lives to drive along the major trade route. The area surrounding the road is often referred to as the Valley of Death. Skipper's Canyon Road Skipper's Canyon Road is located in the southwest region of New Zealand's South Island and is known as one of New Zealand's most scenic roads, but also one of its scariest roads to drive on. Constructed between 1883 and 1890, this gravel road with the length of about 16 miles was hand carved by miners into the side of a very steep cliff. At the time it was considered a spectacular road, but nowadays this narrow unpaved road with no guardrails presents some challenges for drivers. Most of Skipper's Road is one way because it's so narrow that if two vehicles had to pass each other, one vehicle might end up having to reverse for up to two miles along the winding narrow path to get to a spot wide enough for the two cars to pass. On one side of the road is a rock wall, and on the other side is a sheer drop of thousands of miles. The road is difficult to navigate in normal conditions, but it is especially difficult at night or while it's raining. For these reasons, Skipper's Canyon Road is the only road in New Zealand that rental cars cannot drive on as no form of insurance will cover the damages done to rental cars on this road. Los Caracoles Pass Los Caracoles Pass, which translates to the Snail's Pass, might be one of the most insane looking roads on this list. It truly looks like someone drew a squiggly line on top of a mountain and then turned it into a road. Los Caracoles Pass is part of the larger Paso de los Libertadores, which connects Chile to Argentina by winding through remote areas of the Andes Mountains. Los Caracoles Pass is on the Chilean side of the route and it requires slow speeds and close attention from drivers, especially during bad 
weather as strong winds, potential rockfalls, and heavy snow in the winter makes this super narrow, steep, and curvy road even more difficult to travel on. A wrong turn could send a driver plummeting over 10,000 feet off the side of a mountain. While you certainly don't want your driver to be distracted on this road, passengers get to enjoy absolutely gorgeous views of the mountains that you cannot find anywhere else. The Stelvio Pass the Stelvio Pass is a mountain pass in northern Italy, just about 50 miles from the border of Switzerland, that stands at an elevation of over 9,000 feet above sea level. It is the highest paved mountain pass in the Eastern Alps, and it's the second highest in the Alps as a whole. Stelvio Pass being just 23 feet below France's Col d'Isoron, the road has changed very little from when it was originally built in 1820 to 1825 by the Austrian Empire to connect the former Austrian province of Lombardy with the rest of Austria. Stelvio Pass has 75 hairpin turns, which makes it a difficult trip for the many drivers and cyclists that take that route. Locals have called the road homicidal due to its unforgiving zigzag pattern that could easily send a traveler falling to their death. However, the Stelvio Pass is a very popular attraction for cyclists and skiers and attracts thousands of tourists every year, and there are many cycling events that use the pass as part of its route. Seen enough of these frightening roads? Or are you daring enough to venture out on one yourself? Let us know in the comments below which route seems the scariest to you, or if you would like to visit any of these dangerous roads.